what is the feeling like when I step into the cage? Mm, yeah, it, it's weird. It's like a <sighs> emotionally level playing field. Try not to be too hyped. Try not to be too nervous. Like just. Shh. No emotion in here, in the cage. There's no use of emotion. You can't use emotion for anything. You just gotta go in there and you gotta perform and you gotta do what you planned, but like you gotta be methodical, do your shit, stay cool, calm and collected and do what you set out to do. That's the only bummer I have about going here to Vegas. Like, I can't eat fucking donuts. I can't drink Gatorade. I can't, I can only do this and, and train. No Modelo, no nothing. Actually, I've been wanting to do my camp at XC if I was supposed to fight in America. That's because XC is like, that's my guys here in America. Plus, the whole Corona situation is in Europe is fucked, you know, as well in England. And they're a little more open over here. I don't care where it is, as long as I can get a fight. Like, you're privileged today if in these times that you can get a fight. I'm thinking of all the up and coming amateurs or all the, all the pros that is not signed to like a bigger promotion. They're fucked. They might, they could just take maybe, maybe two years out of the calendar, just rip it out, no fights. That's a long time. And, in MMA, right? Hey! Holy oh, shit, you two! Oh, I would have paid to watch that. Damn! Oh. Holy shit, I would have paid to see that. That was great. Pay me. I'm the game. Bro, that was fucking beast. That fucking round was awesome. I didn't see it, but you gotta pay me now. That was a fucking round. Oh my god, I would pay, I would pay to watch that. <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> Johnny, hey, that was fucking, hey. that was fucking awesome round, man. Holy shit. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you guys were fucking flying. My nose fucking hurt from last Tuesday. I got flying knee straight in the face. So my nose is like fucking flying knee, like poop. What the fuck are you doing, bro? So my nose is like super. Just gotta get through it. Like, like Tyson say, it's not getting hit that hurts. It's the thought of getting hit. <laughs> it means everything for me to be fighting for Bellator, cause like fighting for Bellator makes me able to live out my dream and fight in America and provide for my family and uh, fight like the top dogs in the in the world. So yeah, fighting for Bellator means everything for me right now. So I've been working with Mads on and off um, probably like four or five years. I would think something like that, give or take. I'd corner him for a few of his UFC fights. Uh, and I'm actually good friends with his, his main coach, Kupti, uh, who, who's back in Denmark. Um, that's how I I got introduced to Mads and uh, so we've cornered them together and then so they've kind of been like family to me so when anytime he uh, needs some new looks, some new guys, they come out and uh, we run some of his stuff out here and then uh, usually after the fights he goes back home. My relationship to Dennis is like without him I don't think I would be able to go here and do this because like gives me a freaking place to stay and like he helps me a lot with the training and like uh, yeah Dennis is just a fucking cool cat and like I'm really grateful for what him and his family is is doing for me by uh, showing so so much hospitality and letting me live with them for such a long period of time and being so helpful so yeah man I'm super grateful for for, for what Dennis and his family is doing for me it's like yeah super cool Let's go! I got food in this one. 
Mads is one of the one of the best guys I've seen come through the gym. You know, a lot a lot of people don't uh, don't know him, and, and uh, but he's a talent for sure. So. Mm. Yeah. And then most of the time when the high level guys go with them, they're like, who the heck is that kid? What's it like rolling with Jake Shields? It's fun, but not fun at the same time. Holy shit, this dude is like next level. Like I thought I was good. <laughs> yeah, and then I roll with Jake Shields. <laughs> then, I, then I figure out there's like levels to this shit. But it's like, yeah, sometimes I feel like it, it, it goes well and this and that, but then it's like, oh, he just, figure out what I, did, what I did and he adjusts and then he just fucks, fucks you up. It's like, you know what he's gonna do, you just can't stop it. And that's when you know a dude is freaking legit on the ground, when you know what he's gonna do, but you can't stop it. But at the same time, like he's a, he's a very cool cat in the sense that when we roll and if he can feel that maybe I could do something a little better, then he like stops while we roll like, yo, this is good. But at, when this round is over, remind me and then I, uh, I have a little thing you can uh, make an adjustment with so it's gonna be better what you already did. And then he shows techniques and like very helpful. He's a very cool guy. Next level on the ground too, damn. What's the best thing about coming to Extreme Couture? Bumping into guys like that. Yeah. Bumping into guys like that. Pick their brain, be humble, listen. That's what's best. And just seeing the guys. Nice guys, right? So experienced, it's crazy. It feels like it feels like he's breathing heavy on me, but he's just not fucking. It's like <laughs> even last time I was here, me and Dennis were talking, I always wanted to like uh, fight in America, of course. I've done it once, but then we spoke back and back and forth, and I was like, "Yo, if I get a fight in America, like, would I be able to come and stay in your house?" And of course, we make a deal, so you also make some money out of it. And then I train in Couture and this, and I said, "Yeah, of course, man, just come." So it's nice, and it's also like I know the fight life; it can be fucking lonely sometimes, especially if you're like had to go from America to Europe without your family or from Europe to America without your family. But when I'm here, I'm living with Dennis and his family. So it's like, I have good company the whole day, every day. If Dennis is not at home, then his kid and wife is at home and I chill with them and play fucking Mario Kart or some shit like that. And then he comes home and we talk trash and watch Netflix or play Call of Duty or some shit and then training. So it's, I always have good company. And I've been here so many times that I like the guys know me here and I know the guys so so it's I don't feel like a foreigner when I come here. So that's cool. Compared to like if, if it was my first time going to the States, being here all alone, don't know not knowing anybody, like the first time I'm with Dennis, he's running my camp like over here, like that probably wouldn't be the smartest, right? But then it's also like the situation with COVID in Europe. So that makes it even I have to go here to get proper training. But I also want to go here. It's cool. Don't make it a habit, yeah. Don't make it a habit for sure, yeah? Stream on three. One, two, three, train! But, like, I never get guys that pressure me. Like, yeah. I, I like when guys pressure me. Yeah, I can feel that. I can feel that. I know, but everybody else is like trying to play this fucking long game. We are going to do some racing, go-karting right now. I'm about to whip James' ass. 
<laughs> no, pretty no. bad. <laughs> it's pretty ironic, right? We're at a race car spot, and then a dude is getting his car towed right there. Want to get over? over I no, oh, yeah, that's the finish line. I won. Bro, he won if, if winning is being last, then he's like the world champ, baby. James took first. What? Yep. And Mad got second. Oh, baby! <laughs> Can I ask you something? When you wave that uh, that flag up there, right? Yeah. Did that? That's one more lap. Yeah. That's one more lap? Yeah. That's, that's the uh, the checkered flag. Is the end of, it's the end of the race. We just have it to you guys coming in the back. So, and the races are based off of single fastest lap time. It's So the one lap, he had the fastest lap. Oh, so, okay. So it's oh, not who like came in position. first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, bro. Okay. Sorry. Then I understand. <laughs> 